Madam President, the report of the Working Group for the UPR of USA included recommendations on migration from 21 UN member states. Ten of these states cited family separation issues, the result of the zero tolerance policy of the US from April to June 2018. The replies presented by the US in response to recommendations indicate support or support in part for 21 recommendations regarding immigration, border detention, children, and family separation. We commend the U.S. for this positive response, noting that the new administration took office only in January of 2021, and on 26 January rescinded the zero tolerance policy for improper entry. Sadly, parents of 628 migrant children separated at the border in 2018 still have not been found according to court filings in December of 2020. We commend the Biden administration for issuing on 3 February 2021 the executive order on the establishment of the Interagency Task Force on the Reunification of Families. Alarmingly, more than 3,200 migrant children are currently held in Border Patrol facilities, with nearly half held beyond a three-day legal limit as the Biden administration struggles to respond to the sharp increase in the number of unaccompanied minors crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. Edmund Rice International calls on the U.S. administration to move swiftly to remedy these violations of long-standing human rights obligations. These children must be treated with dignity and given meaningful access to education while families are located. Thank you.